Hi TF, I'm Pelican and I'm from Corona Park. I can you please ask me with this question? Welcome back. Welcome back to our last question, which is the part that actually upsets me because I don't want to leave you guys. But then remember, this show is proudly brought to you by Liberty. And if you want access to more content, you can also keep watching the show or downloading our app or just go to our Facebook, which is on Mindset TV and check whatever we have for you guys there. You'll get a lot of access to content that we prepared for you to help you to build yourself. And I hope today's show has helped you to just, you know, be ready. If you are in GP, we know you're writing tomorrow your first paper. And if you are in another province, get in touch with us guys and let us know when are you writing your preliminary exam. Right. Now we're going to jump to our last question, which is a question that was sent to us by Pell. Let's go and check it out. Hi, TF. I'm Pell and I'm from Corona Park. Hi. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you for that question, pal. All right, now this one is very interesting, guys. We have to work out what is the amount when we are dealing with reducing balance here. Very important, it's depreciation. So let's check the question quickly. Nick buys a new motorcycle for 120,000 rands. The motorcycle depreciates at a reducing balance method. Now you need to remember that there are two methods of depreciation. There's either straight line depreciation and there's also reducing balance. When they say reducing balance, we know it's definitely going to be the compound depreciation. So what is the percentage rate of depreciation if in five years time, the motorcycle has, a depreciate, has uh, depreciated to a value of 65, 147.48, round off your answer to two decimal places. Oh, very powerful. So this is what I call a pain question. I call it a pain question. Very interesting. It's a pain question. It is a grade 11 question, guys. It's a nice way of wrapping up our financial math. So let's write down what we know and what we're looking for. Originally, the motorcycle had a value of 120,000 rands. And then later on, it became 65,147,48. What do we know? We also know that this is going to happen for five years. This is five. We just want the interest. And I'm assuming here, guys, it's going to be interest annually because it didn't mention anything about how often the interest is actually compounded. It just says percentage rate, right? So we are looking for I. You can clearly see what we're looking for. Like I said, Philippa and Siabonga had already covered a lot of what you guys need to know. So I'm just going to make I the subject. I'm being a little bit different here. And this is acceptable. We did this in grade 10, making the unknown the subject. So get rid of P. You'll get A over P is 1 minus I to the power of N, right? Now, get rid of n. How do you remove exponent? You introduce a root that matches the exponent. What you do on one side, you need to do on the other side. All right, cool. This is the law of conservation of mathematics. All right, and then this is going to be the nth root of a over p equals 1 minus i. Now I'm looking for i. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap them. How do you swap them? I'm taking the negative i to the left. It's going to be positive. Remember, mathematically speaking, we are adding the additive inverse on both sides, right? I call it witchcraft mathematics. Things jump the equality sign, they change sides. Okay, cool. So I just succeeded to make my I the subject of the formula. You can do this, guys. Once you do this, you're done. There's nothing else that you need to do. Except substitute values, press your calculator, get your answer, done. Right. So let's see what will happen. 1 minus the nth root. We said we are doing this for 5 years. So I'm going to substitute 5 here. And the root of the amount of A is basically um, 65, 147. So I've got 65, 1, 4, 7 point something. What is something? Something is 4, 8. Right, okay, comma 4, 8 divided by the original amount, which is 120,000 rands. Right, so you go down and then you press your calculator to get the answer. Right, it's going to be 1 minus uh, shift the nth root, which is fifth root of, right, fraction 65, um, 1, 4, 7, right, comma 4, 8, all over 120,000. When you press this, you get 0 0.11. You need to multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percentage. And our percent here, R equals, uh, is that 11 point, what is that? 11.5. So we're getting 11.50% per 
are now. Right. Very powerful question indeed. Thank you for sending us that question. It was really absolutely awesome being with you guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you're writing tomorrow, good luck. Be as relaxed as you can be and make sure you start it tonight. Until we see you again on Monday, guys, take care. Bye-bye for now.